Hey, what up you guys? So, I'm doing my reaction video vlog on my video I did on Kyle Gott's page um, about doing the interview about 3D One X2. So, I'm just doing my reactions and my commentary that I'm just getting around to doing it now. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll just get straight into it. So, real quick, um, just to backtrack on this. So, Kyle Gott asked if I can do a interview for his AFSC series. And also, just to keep in mind, his channel has rebranded um, to Airman Vision. So if you're trying to check him out, it is um, now currently called Airman Vision. And so in his AFSC series, he's just asking him random folks in the Air Force, active duty, or um, who just got out and talk about their jobs. And of course, I'm talking about cyber transport and, and, and my video here in the behind me right now. So... If you saw my little quick video, and I'll also link it, link it in below, I did kind of like a quick, like I met Kyle Gott video, and so in there I was very critical because it was just the same day, um, talking about my experience um, doing this interview, and I was really critical after watching it, and, and this is pretty much why I didn't really do a, a reaction video hella quick in all of this, because af after watching it, I was, I think I was overthinking it like it wasn't as bad as I thought and um it was quite fine and it was quite normal so it wasn't like oh my goodness it was so cringeworthy but like it, yeah but still there's part portions um that was I could have done better I guess um the last part of me doing all the advice was the greatest part of it and and all that stuff so I'm glad that I didn't really mess up there so one thing that I did want to touch on, and, and so reading these comments below, um, I kept on saying, one of the major things that I picked out, like people are saying, like I keep on saying the Cisco um, Security Plus were as I was being corrected, it was the CompTIA, correct, yeah. Um, it's the CompTIA um, Security Plus certification. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I, I said Cisco, I think I just had a, um, just stumbling on my words or just kind of come up with what I wanted to say and I guess Cisco came up versus CompTIA so definitely um, what's corrected there so yeah um, as far as some info that I gave I think I gave pretty decent info um, again other people who is in cyber transport we all have a vast range of experience and so I think I did okay there so one thing I want to highlight in this video is that um, I want to talk about tech school right and so um, I mentioned in the video that it was kind of like Hogwarts because I was on drill team and drill team was pretty much the equivalent of Quidditch because at Keesler I don't know how it is now but when we went there there was four squadrons within the training group right so you had the 336 wolves right red wolves you have the 335th um, bulls um, 334th Gators and the 338 Dark Knights, right? So what up Dark Knights? And so each has their own AFSCs or whatever and so that was cool. So we got to compete against each other every quarter um, and do a drill down. And so a drill down, um, it's pretty much there's three um, components to it. So you have open ranks which is about um, your uniform, you have regulations which is about marching and you have freestyle which is more or less you can do whatever but it's pretty much rifles and and formation I guess so uh, I was in uh, regulations so so this also kind of like sparked me to watch old videos and I'll link it below or I'll show some images and footage below or around whatever and so it was really fun I mean so um, I was actually watching some of the videos last night and like which also made me want to do this video finally and it was like oh my goodness I was one I was actually filming my early career not as a youtuber per se but at least you, you documenting my time in tech school so it was like hey I was actually doing this in the very beginning it's not just now that I'm doing my YouTube you know so that was one really kind of cool Two, like again like I was saying it was really fun and and watching these videos as cringy as they were because of my editing <laughs> but it was it was great to see all of this and how I kind of changed in these past eight years and I want to do another video in two years from now kind of reflecting on my whole 10 year period in in the military but again it was super fun going in through it um, going through tech school having having drill down and everything um, 
Yeah, I mean, it was a really great experience. And if you yourself watching this, if you're going to the Air Force and if you have an opportunity to do it, I would rec definitely recommend doing drill team and honor guard um, once you get in the operational Air Force. Especially if you love drill and ceremony, if you love like all the things that we do as far as marching and formations and saluting and being sharp, I think it was it translates very well um, to who you are. And especially if you're a dancer, like um, you, there's a, your own beat, your own cadence, um, and the whole as dancers. There's a level of discipline that is involved and marching and all of that kind of like plays a part into it. Um, not as maybe necessarily um, totally equivalent, but there is still some uh, similarity. No pressure, but freestyle rigs, I need you guys to show up today. I need y'all to show up. Freestyle that uh, <laughs> dress, cover interval distance, and Lozal, you got to stay on your freaking game. <laughs> you got not freaking speed up to where these guys can't keep up. Make sure you keep that pace low. Every stupid is going to lead it off. She'll start it off at a kind of a faster pace. And then as soon as we get started, it's all on you, Lozal. Yes, sir. Freestyle, when y'all come out, you already got your setup, right? <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get this one. wrapping it up um, going back to this video reaction again um, I was highly critical about myself and watching it now I think I did just fine um, no one really cares they just they're trying to get the info but as someone who's watching themselves obviously I'm gonna be highly more critical about what I say and what I do and all my mannerisms <laughs> but I overall taking a step back it was it was just fine it was pretty normal whatever and again, I was very thankful to be part of this. And it's kind of strange, like, um, when I was saying in my other video I met Kyle Gott, like, it's kind of funny that, um, not that we're, like, friends, <laughs> and I don't know if he's watching this, but I mean, like, we hang out. Like, we, he does this, like, Bible study community, um, um, so like his Bible study is his, his community day type thing and you know it's great that I get to meet him outside of what Air Force and YouTube community and just have a natural good conversation and growth um, through religious context and so that's good in itself right and so um, again it's kind of interesting just because um, I feel like 
the universe is somewhat aligning to what I need just because not only do I meet not only did I meet Kyle got on a on a professional level but I get to grow with him on a personal level so it, like personally that greet that feels very um, validating you know and so yeah I mean definitely it's definitely something cool again overall this experience was super awesome I'm glad that I got to be a part of this and and learn from him and be part of this opportunity and um, I guess last thing is that, you know, I got to submit in Kyle Gott's Best YouTuber of 2019 and he was saying like, hey, you should register, um, it, it is good exposure, like, like, most deaf, like, and I was saying like, I probably, um, cause my subscribers is only in the 80s and so like, I was kind of like really hesitant, but you know, even then, like, I should get my foot in the door and, and, per and put myself out there. Um, definitely, there's no way that I'm going to be in, like, in the top, but definitely putting myself out there in a, um, just to get started, you know, I think that's very, um, that's a good decision to do. Um, when it comes to my channel, like, yeah, I do military stuff, but most of my focus is on, like, TV reviews, while, which I'll probably end up doing on a separate channel, and everything that's on my channel currently, it's going to probably evolve into more, again, like, cultural and purpose in talking about social issues and like political commentary within the scope of a um filipinos i guess and um yeah definitely and, and military and so yeah definitely i want to do that and so yeah i mean i'm looking forward to what the future holds um in regards to this channel and in regards to what I can learn else from Kyle and, and learning being part of the military YouTube community and, and building upon that and stuff. So yeah, definitely a lot of things to be excited for. And so if you're new to my channel, um, please hit that subscribe button as I am building this channel. Um, I also have an Instagram. You can follow that at Hey Mitch Mitch. Um, most of my stuff there, again, is my TV movie reviews and short, quick movie reviews as well. I also have a joint Instagram, YouTube with my friend Jen from Tech School, and it's called It's Mandatory Fun. Um, we're definitely starting that channel. It's brand new, and so we're going to probably do a lot of projects on that channel and everything. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. And then, please check out the other videos, and see you in the next video. Peace! We don't pray.